Hey friends, thanks for coming back to the channel. It's Jay Ryan. And Coco. And the star of the show, Dell, is uh, asleep right now. So that's how we're sneaking out and recording an episode uh, real quick. Yes. Yeah, he's... Uh, he's been very fussy these it's, couple days. Yeah, I mean, this... So, I mean, this this is our episode. It's uh, our first week with a newborn baby. It's a Coco and Jay Rye show, of course. It's our 18th episode. Holy cow. Wow. She barely agreed to one, and now we're on 18 of these. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is wild. Um, and uh, anyway, so we wanted to talk. I mean, obviously, if you've been following our story, uh, uh, I'm Jason. This is Coco. We just had a baby. Uh, we're still here in Costa Rica. Uh, he just turned one week old yesterday yeah that so was, last that last was amazing. yeah last night was his uh you know one week uh birthday and so um, <laughs> right very very <laughs> um and so we um you know we wanted to talk obviously specifically about our situation but to other people out there too you know like uh you know, what is it like, obviously, the first week with a newborn baby? And so uh, that's our focus of uh, this week's episode. And uh, we have a lot to talk about. There's up, there's updates on uh, what's going on with the embassy. How are we going to get back to the United States? Uh, the pediatrician, how things are different. Uh, all of that uh, we're going to get to in today's episode. So thank you for being here. And also, you might have heard a couple of chuckles uh, there. The uh, We have a, a special guest joining us today and uh this is my mom kelly hey mom hi welcome to the just, show just, just call me grandma just call you grandma <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks well, anyway mom thank you so much for uh joining us this week and i know you've got a couple questions about uh baby dell and, and all of that um where should we start should we start with um let's just start of like how just the general of how how the first week has been uh with a newborn baby like uh, how are you feeling babe um i'm feeling tired but not as much as i was expecting mm -hmm. to be to feel tired so it's been a little exhausting but not too too bad yeah i i, I think that um you know, obviously this is uh, Coco's, you know, first baby, first time being a mom right. and she's killing it. Like she's doing such an awesome job. I'm trying. <laughs> um, you're, you're doing awesome. You're so great. I'm so proud of you. Um, and, uh, you know, Dell is just, you know, I can't say he's falling into a rhythm because uh, he's not quite there yet, but no. he's falling into the rhythm of at least understanding, you know, uh, you know, eat, poop, sleep, you know, and and he is enjoying uh, getting around um, a little bit. And uh, the motion, of course, uh, settles him down and the walking settles him down a little bit. Um, what would you say so far is like uh, something that, uh, I don't know, that surprised you or that you weren't ready for? Um, something that I was not ready for. I think, I think just latching breastfeeding uh -huh. i thought i was gonna have the hardest time with that i thought like it's not gonna go right for me like everything's just gonna go wrong um but surprisingly he's been latching very well it took it was it, it would take a little longer in the beginning yeah. but uh he's latching pretty pretty fast now and my breast milk coming in also like really surprised me. Like uh, literally on the third day, exactly. Like I felt dripping of something and I was like, what's going on? And I was like, oh my God, it's milk. <laughs> and so ever you, since- You and Del both know, had that same exclamation. Yeah. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't sure, you know, if he was eating enough with whatever was coming out of my, you know, boo the first couple of days. Right. It was just tiny little drops of, what is it called again? I forgot it's the name of that, but it's that, it's that, it's that thick, you know, nu nutrient milk yes. before like the bigger milk yeah. comes in. And apparently they only need a little bit of it. Right. Uh, but, but that was stressing me out. So um, yeah, I think that's been the most surprising for me. Like latching hasn't been, uh, as difficult as it's been for others that I've heard. Right. It can, I mean, it can be a nightmare. And, and some people can't get it to work at all. 
Right. And so then, they just give up and resort to bottles. But I've actually been enjoying not having to wash bottles and all that stuff. So hopefully this lasts a while. I mean, again, we're only in week one, but it's going right. to be it's going to be a continuing you know, lesson and learning of like, okay, do I want to pump and then put it there and then go out? And then we've got, you know, 20 things to clean up too, but I, we'll, we'll figure out the rhythm, but we're not there yet because we're still uh, in Costa Rica where we delivered uh, our baby. And um, so, yeah, we don't have bottles. We don't have a pump. We don't have any of that stuff. I mean, we barely, nope. you know, we just have like the minimum. Well, I shouldn't say the minimum. We do have some cheats too. I mean, we do have, an umbrella stroller. We do have uh, a baby Bjorn, you know, Let's to carry the umbrella stroller. To carry that gives me anxiety every time Dell's in there. Well, he's not in there much, but you know. anymore. <laughs> well, you know, so Coco is like the queen of the internet told me, and so. Uh, well, this is the, my first time well, momming, so yes, that's true. I don't know anything really, so I have to. Well, we can't everything. trust. No, we can't trust the internet on everything. But uh -huh. but but here's what happened. So right in the beginning, we get home from the hospital. The very first you know night was a rough night, um, and then you know I wake up in the morning, and I like going running and, and you know exercising early in the morning, um, at least on the schedule here, uh, because there's a little bit of a time difference between California. And so, um, you know, Coco needed to sleep. And so I'm like, all right, I'm taking him. I'm going to put him in the stroller and I'm going to go. And by the time I came back, Coco was like, I looked up on the internet and he shouldn't be in there. And so I was just like, oh, forget It's sake. because he was like this the entire time. No, what do you mean the entire time? You weren't there. No, he wasn't, wow. like, he wasn't like that the entire time. It not not like in the slightest. Like, like, probably like that for a while. No, he was calm. I'll, I'll, he was, he was show calm. Everybody a he was at, I'll be glad to show pictures. He, I mean, he can't hold his head up yet. He's his one week old. His head is too, too big. He can't hold it up. But that's true anywhere, not just in a stroller. And the so, movement like, of the stroller kept him calm, kept him happy, but and that's the best really of what crooked. we have here. We don't, we don't have a fancy stroller. We're not buying a five hundred dollar stroller in Costa Rica just to, for to last us a couple yeah. weeks like no 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 yeah so it's it worked fine but yeah it was giving you anxiety yes yeah so we don't she use needed it as to much. Sleep longer. Go, go ahead mom what I said she needed to sleep longer and then she wouldn't be so anxious you know you well, could have been in and out before she woke up Coco Coco's nickname is chicken little sometimes because she <laughs> She does get a, she doesn't show it a lot, but then after the fact, when I hear, then it's like, yeah, she's, she can get a when little. When it's been digested. <laughs> she can, yeah, she, she can get a little anxious. And it, again, it's, it, all of this is overwhelming. We're in a foreign country. We're not, we're not home. We're having a baby. First time having a baby. It's like, it's, it's a lot, you know, there's, there's, there's so much going on. Um, but as you said, at least, you know, I, it, it's good to know that you feel that, uh, sleep isn't as bad as you were thinking yeah no i mean it's last night i think was probably the worst uh but it's been it's been pretty easy well not easy but it's been it hasn't been as bad as i was expecting it that's good to that's good um it's hard to sleep because uh i just i feel like i have to stay up to hear him make sure he's breathing all the time. Sure. He likes to sleep on his side and well, I'll, I'll let him sleep on the side. Right. And I just don't want him to like move or I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he's falling asleep, you know, after feeding and so he's like in the bed, but right, you have to be careful because if mom falls asleep and baby falls asleep and then they move and they get too close, like he can't, you know, tell you that he's squished or something, you know? So it's like, you know, in general, um, yeah, it's it's concerning. You do, you do have to be careful because obviously he's tiny and we're traveling, so he's not like in its own crib. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're doing great and you're not like, you're not going into crazy deep sleep, and, you know, so it's... Yeah, no, I can't. It's, wor <laughs> it's, it's, it's working so far. Um, I mean, even sitting here right now and with him in the other room, I, I already feel like anxiety. Right. 
I just want to go check up, check check on him. Every, yeah. Every well, I mean, he <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. He needs some solid sleep. He's been a little, you know, today's been a little difficult. I think today's been the most difficult day since we left the hospital. Um, and not difficult, uh, difficult's a strong word, but uh, you know, he's just, he's just irritable today. And we don't know exactly why. We just, everything that we try, all of our little tricks aren't quite working. Like the passy. The pacifier isn't quite working today. Bundling him up isn't quite working. Feeding him more, you know, so it's like, eh, you know, whatever. I, I think he's tired. So hopefully he could just, you know, knock out for several hours. Uh, because yeah, he gets really, he gets really fussy when we change, when we move him. Even the first day I went out and there was a little bit of breeze. He was like, ah, like, you know, I was like, he, he, he's still learning, <laughs> He obviously. doesn't like breeze. When I was walking around Tempo, there was like a breeze coming in mm -hmm. through the entrance and he, he just doesn't like it. Yeah, when he gets, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I guess it's a, it's a quality like his dad. I mean, it's like, if things aren't just right, it's like, it's like ah, get a little cranky. But um, you, do you uh, do you have any experience with that, Mom? Was it was that ever a thing when I was a kid? Uh, no, to be honest with you, it's like we didn't even have umbrella strollers then, so it's like didn't have to worry about any of that or whatever. But is that a little face age joke you just threw in there way back yeah. then. There were no such yeah, things. Yeah, 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 when we came across on the covered wagon, we didn't have those. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> But there, but there were, I mean, there were times, you know, when it was hard for you to sleep, you know, or it was cranky, or you would fall asleep just when it was time for me to get up to go to work, you uh -huh. know, but it's just a matter of a routine. And sometimes a baby just isn't ready for a routine. Absolutely. He probably was upset because you probably didn't throw a party for his first week birthday. Well, See, we that, that could well, be like keeping you up. Well, we didn't. I we did, did sing happy birthday to him. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. Uh, we were gonna actually film last night on the anniversary, but like we were like yeah, we were all it's just tired. We were just tired. tired. Out. Like after <laughs> after Jason got off of work, we walked to the mall, which isn't far, but because of me and my C section surgery, yeah. you know, the cut still kinda healing. I can't yeah. walk as fast. I get tired faster and it starts to hurt. Yeah. So um I still am amazed at, you know, the progression of surgery because everyone is shocked that you're up and about yes. as much as you are because oh, for sure people have it's, been like wait what you were discharged the next day right like yeah. yeah that's crazy you know here in the u.s it's at least three days that you stay in the hospital yeah. and that you have nurses yeah. come and help you all the time you're right I'm like no we got you know we were told we could leave the next day and i was getting restless in there too and yeah, it's just a small room, right. not big enough, and I. The TV in the hospital didn't get Sex in the City, so Coco was like, "We're out of here." She was ready to go. Uh, so no, the TVs here suck. Like <laughs> there are like what maybe ten English channels, yeah. and they're playing the same movie. And there's six. There's six. Five. There's six channels for soccer, and then there's oh, yeah. six channels for English, and two of them are CNN. So we don't need that. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not here for the television. It's okay. Um, but so uh, so we talked a little bit about uh, sleeping, and so I mean we've also you know kind of spoiled ourselves here as well. So we have a two bedroom uh, suite, and so you know we kind of we move from side to side. Um, you know when Coco needs some sleep, I try and take you know Dell. She's obviously doing the night shifts and. Um, you know, and she's on the feeding shift, which is a 24 hour shift. <laughs> um, so I can help, but there's only so much I can do. You know, I, my sleep is, is broken too, but I know I'm definitely getting more than you. Oh, for um, sure. And um, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult because it's not as much as we want it to be, like it can't be even. Like I can't, there's all, I, I can't feed him. And, I can, and, and he's learned too. So like there are things that I do to comfort Del and and get him calm but i don't have the milk and so yeah. at the end of the day there's only so much i can do and wants the milk. and at this point right the milk is the ultimate solution to whatever his you know yeah. even if like, even we'll if he just ate him jason will try to walk him around it used to work the first yeah. couple of days but now 
Well, maybe today is a today might yeah. be yeah. might be a few. But um, well, Jason, remember the movie? Was it Parenthood with Robert De Niro? Uh, Meet the parents. Meet the parents, uh -huh. where he found he he did that thing so he could breastfeed his grandchild. I do remember, remember that? that. Nice, yeah. one, nice do? one, Fokker. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Robert De Niro had like a prosthetic boob, and then yeah. put the bottle in it, and the baby, and he could nurse the baby. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. Oh, you should do that. Well, when we get, I'll be happy to feed him when I we get home and we've used bottles. But no, no bottles. We're not getting a prosthetic boob. This isn't Hollywood. Coco, I was trying. <laughs> I mean, you know, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe more people watch the channel if we, if we get absolutely ridiculous like that. I don't know. Um, but <laughs> yeah, nice suggestion. Um, so yeah, I think uh, you know, like it, it's been interesting too on uh, how we're able to uh, go out. I mean, a lot of people don't even attempt to go out. But for here, right. no. we've been so active in this community because where we are, uh, there's you know hotels, there's restaurants, there's um, there's a lot of activity here, and we also have been exercising here for many weeks. So it's like we're used to getting up and getting out and you know seeing what's going on, um, and we're still doing that. Um, well, I'm not exercising. Well, you're excellent. You're walking. I um, mean, I do walk, yeah. but not in the morning time like I used to with you. Right, but again, because I'm a lot slower. Temper, Jason temp, temp, won't temp, get temp. His, if you, your Nike app won't track your steps if you walk as slow as I. Yeah, I mean, there was a, there was a day we were walking so slow that the, the computer didn't even think we were moving. It was funny, um, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got. To, I, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely falling behind in my exercise, but it's understandable. I mean, I'm getting my steps in, but I'm not getting anything of like what I was doing with my weightlifting and everything right, oh, right up until we left. So, but that's fine. I'll, I'll get back on track when we get home. Um, so another thing that's been happening uh, is uh, obviously since we got uh, back from the hospital. So uh, Coco's done with uh, her doctor. But oh, Dal, yeah, I won't be seeing him anymore. Right. Yeah. No. So, so I guess no checkup on my uh, on my cut. Well, he said if um, this is another thing of Coco, she only remembers like one third of the meeting. So I have to listen to everything because she'll forget. It's no, what, true. The, what the doctor said was if if there's any inflammation, he said redness around your cut and your scar is bad. Yeah. So then yeah. you know, we'll, we'll reach out to him if there's an issue. But he's not trying to make appointments just to make money for nothing, which I respect. Um, when, and you, when would she go back? She doesn't go back at all to anybody after this? I, I always thought with the C-section, you would go back, no? No. Oh, no, not, I mean, not I, don't, unless, I don't know much about C-sections, you know, but. Not unless there's a problem. And so again, Wow. No, that's the thing, no I, problem. I really don't know if there would be a problem or not. Like. It hurts sometimes. Sometimes it feels like um, yeah, like I'm walking too much, or like when I have to carry Dell up to my chest so that he latches. Like it's a lot of like pressure down there, right? And it feels yeah. like my yeah. cut is like opening or something. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and it hurts. Right. And so you have medicine and you have antibiotics and the doctor said that, yeah, this is going to take six weeks to. Oh, fully yeah. Heal. Yeah. So, I mean, he, he addressed all that, but again, he also, Dr. Adam, he's so great. I mean, he's on our phone. I mean, right. he answers like within, you know, 30 minutes usually. So, um, ask him, you know, if, if, if you're concerned, you know, it won't, it, yeah, it, it won't you just, be you just got to be careful too, lifting anything too. And of course, Dell, you have to lift him anyway. But anything, right. everything that you don't even think about, you're pulling on that area, you know, yeah. before it's it's heated. So you just have to be careful yeah, and not like lift sitting, much. He's sitting up in the middle of the night, yeah. like, and then even just after a while of walking a lot, it starts. To, yeah, it starts to to get it starts to hurt. But. My yeah. cousin, I have a cousin who got, who has two girls and she got C-section oh. both times. 
she was like, walk, walk as much as you possibly can. That'll, that'll help yeah. out. So that's what keeps me walking. Yeah. Right. And I'm sure. I'm sure after a couple of weeks too, you really tell the difference though too, because you'll know that you're healing more and more. Yes. Yeah, so it's been a week now and it's starting to feel better. Like I can, I feel like I can move around more and last, yeah. you know, walk a little longer than, than before. Cause I remember yeah. at first, like we would go eat and we would sit down at a table and I was having the hardest time just getting myself up before it was because yeah. my tailbone was hurting because I was pregnant. And, yeah. and now is because because of my incision and uh, yeah, but but it's getting better. Yeah, yeah. So it yeah. has improved for sure. Yeah, it it is, and and it, it's and it's a lot that you're you've already put on your body with the pregnancy, with the delivery, oh and now the recovery. So it's like it's just still. Yeah. You're just still in that spot. So even for some time, like I was lifting you right yeah. out of the chair when we yeah. get yeah. up or leave. So we still will do that if we need to for, for the time being so that you're well. Yeah. That's um, that's for sure. So uh, so one thing uh, that also has been happening, uh, obviously because we had our baby overseas, it's like, okay, well, we need an exit plan on how to get home. And so we've had the exit plan which is that you have the baby, the baby is now a Costa Rican citizen, and then uh, you get the paperwork and you go to the embassy and they make him an American citizen and we go home. So, I mean, that's, you know, normal. What's not normal is that it's been COVID. And so a lot of the government um, agencies are working less and they are, you know, discouraging people from coming in. So things are a lot slower than we had expected. Now, granted, Dell is a week late, but we are maybe flying home two weeks late uh, because the bureaucracy is pretty slow. Um, now, it's been crazy because uh, even dealing with the embassy, we had an appointment to go and deal with all of the paperwork on November 2nd. Now, Dell was late, so he wasn't born in time. <coughs> Uh, for us to make that appointment and then they when i went back to them and i said okay well, we need a later appointment they're like oh well, we can see you in mid-december and i was like uh no <laughs> like we can't wait another five weeks you know and so that's been really challenging so i would really encourage anybody i mean maybe people are having a baby or not going back or they're just staying here or something like that but if you need to travel yeah i would definitely say uh, a couple things. One, you got to be patient, but also you got to work it yourself because if you just follow the way they do it, you will be staying forever. Um, I am a bull and so I am pretty aggressive in getting things handled. And so uh, we went down to the civil registry uh, to get his birth certificate. They told us to come on Thursday. I went on Tuesday. Um, Dell was born on Thursday, so I went, what would, would that be, like three day, three business days later. They said to wait a whole week. No, I didn't wait a whole week. I went down there after three days and they were like, they're so nice They're here. very nice here. They're, wow. they're, they're yeah. so nice, but I feel like- Nothing like the people that you deal with back at home who work for- Nightmare. The EDB yeah. or work oh, for- Oh, right. The DMV. Perfect, perfect case for, in point. Coco can't get anywhere with her disability of being off work because oh, yeah. it's an American agency. Here, we're getting things done. Um, because the people, they, every time you walk five feet, someone's goo-gooing yes. about the baby and people are just so happier and nicer it's just in general. And then when we're dealing with the, uh, and, and that's, you know, obviously we're in hotels and restaurants, so it's kind of their job to be nice to you, right? But but in the government agency, even there, they're very nice. It's just a cumbersome process. Like literally the hospital had to take a piece of paper from where we uh, had the baby to you know, the Capitol and the guy's looking through and he doesn't have that piece of paper. And I'm like, oh my God, like they didn't like scan it or computerize it or anything yet. So I'm like, oh my God, what if somebody loses that piece of paper? So, uh, 
it is a little bit slower, but I, again, I would say be nice, but keep pressing, especially if you're on a timetable like we are, because now, um, you know, we were told, oh, it could take two to three weeks before they give you an official birth certificate. We got it yesterday. Uh, so now we have the official birth. We basically explained, you know, our story to the person that was helping us and he helped expedite it. Yes. We pressed, you know, yeah. we, we, yeah. we pressed. So we got it in four business days instead of two to three weeks. And then that piece of paper, now we have to take to the embassy, along with an entire File. pack of yeah. everything, proving who we are, where we live, why we're here, when were we in the United States? Are we really together? Is this, you know, like, oh my, it's like, it's so much, but we have all that ready. And then I also had to press our own embassy because of COVID and everything else. And they were saying they didn't have time to see us for quite some time. Um, but yeah, so I pressed them as well. And now we will, we have an appointment with them on Monday. So- uh, at 8.30 in the morning. Yeah. It's pretty early for a government agency here. Well, maybe they're, yeah. maybe they're adding us because yeah. they said they had no openings, That's right? True. So maybe they're squeezing yeah. a little bit early or something. Uh, but we're grateful to, for that. And again, that is the embassy's job is to help you while you're in another country. And so, you know, when you nicely press and you nicely express, you know, yourself, uh, hopefully it works. For us, it's working. The universe is cooperating. People in the, in the agencies are cooperating. So we're happy about that. That's been giving me a lot of anxiety because I, you know, like I have a very intense job and, and they haven't given me any difficulty whatsoever. They've been so accommodating. Um, I'm working, you know, from here uh, most days, but at but the end of the- You can still tell, like it's, have, it's bothering you. Well, of course. Like getting to you that things are like moving very slow. Right. We, you said, you know, like, we would be home by this time around this time and right. it hasn't happened and yeah i could feel it i yeah. could feel it's just it's, anxiety yeah it's energy it's, it's it's difficult and especially for being like a man too like a woman you know with the right company can get a significant amount of time off for a man it's like men don't take time off you know from work for the most part you're allowed to but again you know come on let's be they frown on you if you do I mean, sure. I mean, I'm an executive. It's like, it's not, you know, and here we don't have help. We don't have a nanny. We don't have other. So it's like, we're both changing diapers, giving him yep. baths, you know, uh, I mean, Coco's obviously doing way more than me, but like, we're both very involved. Yes. Um, so it's, it's difficult. But anyway, the point is, is that it's going well. And so we celebrate that. And uh, by Monday, um, if all goes well, Dell could be officially recognized by the United States, which then green lights us to go home. Now that going home, will, yay, going home will only be the beginning because then of course we have to deal with Dell, everything of him becoming a citizen, which uh, is backwards because it's like you get your citizenship when you're born in America. Now he's not born in America. So we have to vouch for him to get his citizenship and it'll all be fine. Oh, so there's more oh to you know, the process when we get back home? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh. And so, uh, just like everything, just like now Dell is a, is a Costa Rican citizen and that's gonna help us with our residency in Costa Rica because we are going to eventually live here and work here and, and, and you know, raise him here. Um, but for Dell to make us residents, there's 10 million processes and procedures too. So. Um, but whatever, that's we have good. We have a good lawyer. We have a good team, you know, working on it. Because if we had to do it ourselves, I think I would like. Oh my god, I think I would pass out. It's 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 insane, absolutely insane. Yeah, and he's been the one. You've been on top of all of that. I, I'm trying. I'm trying my best for sure. Uh, Mom, our special guest this week. You said that uh, you were going to jot down a couple questions. You got a you got a question for us or an observation about anything we've been talking about so far? Well, I got a few things, but I was going to ask. Now, you said in the hospital that the room was smaller. What else about the hospital? And Jason said you hadn't really been in a hospital before, right? Just Never. The night. It was my first time. And um, it was, I mean, it had a small little bathroom. It was the, uh -huh. it was the room. 
and uh, Jason slept on the little couch that was there. Uh, kudos to the kudos to the hospital now hospital couches and you know dads are not the priority obviously nor should we be that couch was seven feet long so oh my god with me being (laughs) right so for me being six one in america that's average here i'm a giant um i could actually stretch my legs out on that couch I'm not pretending it was like a sealy posturepedic, but still, at you least I could at that. least I could fit on it. So that I, th- thank you to SEMA Hospital for having halfway decent. Uh, uh, That's neat. Couch. Now, did they keep the baby in the nursery, or they keep the baby with oh, you? Oh no! Oh no! We kept the baby with us at all. Uh-huh. At, no, uh-huh. at no point did he ever leave. Actually, uh-huh. he did leave for like a few minutes. Jason took him out for a walk. And the nurse uh-huh. was like, oh. you need to go back to your room. You can't. Well, he was never, he was never apart from either one of us. Right. Was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My, my point. They put, well, they, now, do they put things on like monitors on we him? All, we all, were, we all, well, we no. all were tagged. We all, we okay. all were tagged of who we belonged to. Oh, okay. It's the wristbands. Oh, yeah. I didn't get a wristband. Yes, you did. You had a wristband on the whole time in the hospital. What are you talking about? Really? Uh oh. I know Dell has. Okay, one. we can't go pregnancy <laughs> brain anymore. So now we're gonna have to call post post postpartum brain. Uh, okay. I, was, I, was, I was numb. I'm gonna get away with so much now because Coco's forgetting everything. This is great. Oh I'm, my oh, gosh. I'm gonna get away with murder. This is fantastic. Just, just go on and tell him, yeah, you remember. <laughs> So here's what's interesting, and uh, mom, I don't, I don't know like how busy the hospital was, you know, when when you delivered me, but mm-hmm. but when I had, uh, you know, my two daughters, you know, that hospital was pretty busy, and so yeah. it was a lot more concern about like, you know, you hear those crazy stories of like switching babies or you know, yeah. stuff like yeah. that, but um, here like. It is not an issue because the hospital that we delivered at is slow. Like it's like it's not that busy. It wow. felt like at the most, like maybe there were like four families. And since people are only there for like 24 hours, like we're coming in, a couple of people are about ready to go out. We deliver, uh-huh. then we're trying to sleep and nurse Dell, yeah. and then you know, another family delivers. So it's like at any given point, the nurses and the team, like, they weren't overwhelmed. They weren't taking the baby They never anywhere. looked overwhelmed. They didn't look overwhelmed. Yeah. Wow, home. isn't that something? Pura they, vida, even yeah. with the yeah. nurses. That's like, right. Oh my Pura God, vida. it's funny you say that, because even like when we had our pediatrician appointment, her secretary, when I like went over to like check in, She's literally like sitting back on her phone, chilling. <laughs> like, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. that's like, California. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> you know, like, look at this girl, like, easy oh my job. God. It's been, awesome. yeah, I mean, you just gotta think too, like, again, we come from Los Angeles, which is one of the biggest cities in the world. Yeah. Yeah. So we're used to the hubbub and here, right. San Jose, Costa Rica. Again, we're in a suburb, um, but this is the capital, and it's not that crazy. You know, yeah. there just aren't that many people having babies because you're not in Los Angeles. Are it's there very different. hospitals around here? There's a lot of hospitals okay. around here. Because I noticed okay, when, when we went is. to like um, to the civil right, where registry, registry, uh-huh. mm-hmm. the city city is busier. It's yes. really busy. But since we're yeah. outside of the city, it's not that bad, except for like on the weekends. Right. There's like a bunch of families coming over to yeah. shop and eat. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's funny though about it not being that crowded, which is great for you because you get more attention. Now see, when Jason was born, I was in the old days where you didn't have a private room. She just did the- I old was in a room with- Here, Yeah, I just said it. She, it just, was, she, it just, was, she, just, she just worked in the old days again. My God. That's right. That's it. There were four people in a room, you know. Oh, it was like and a share. It was like a shared recovery. Shared rooms. There was there was four people in in a room, and if you had money, then you got to go into a room that had two people in it. 
wow. you know, if you were able to do it, it was crazy. Now, but speaking of, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say the, the, the difference at this hospital at SEMA here in Escazú was there is one suite. Every room's private, but there yes. is one suite, which okay. before COVID times was if you wanted to pay a little extra. And again, yeah. we're talking about pay extra here. We're talking about like a hundred dollars or some BS. Like every, all of the extras that are the gotchas back in America, even when you have health insurance and you're still paying yeah. tens of thousands of dollars out of pocket for, for regular you know procedures. Here, they had a suite and that's so if like, if you have a really big family, uh, back when you were allowed to have groups, you know, come right. to the hospital. Right, they stayed, right? Now you, now you can't, but but I'm just saying yeah. like, there, was, there was one room available for that if you wanted to like pay extra, but no. Yeah. We, but they weren't doing that right now because not now. of COVID. Yeah, but but well, it sense, we know? had enough, and 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 even now, I mean, the flowers are kind of like running out uh, on their last legs here because they've been here uh, just over a week. But um, yeah. but you can't even bring flowers in the hospital. Oh, really? Yeah. So all of this I had to have done and, and brought here to the hotel. Oh my gosh! You can't have flowers. You can't really have uh, visitors. I was the visitor, right? Yeah. Uh, now, did they test you? For COVID? They tested when she in? Coco for COVID, she but tested. not me, which was really weird. That doesn't make sense. I right? Mean, I wasn't I wasn't gonna push to have another thing jammed no. up my nose. I've had enough of yeah. that over yeah. the past two years. Yeah. But yeah. um there's I mean, you know, I I don't know what the numbers are here, but it's like I don't know. If people are very vigilant about their masks here. I think uh I think Good. they take it much more seriously than yeah, Southern California. I mean, yeah. The economy was pretty bad when COVID hit. One of the workers, yeah. one of the restaurants, are telling me, were telling us that you know it was mm -hmm. really bad because they were out of work and yeah. they can't afford to be out of work here. No, of course not. So, um, this country was, all runs on American it was and other tourism dollars. Affecting their, you know, it was affecting them financially. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, so, it's, it's so that's why they're very on top of you got to wear your masks, you got to wash your hands before you get seated at yeah, your table. Yeah, right. Um, they have, they have like extra sinks in the restaurants and stuff, and they go over there yeah. and wash up first before you walk in. You know, I I love it because back home in America, it's like it's a it's a debate of of you know you're wrecking my liberty. Oh, shut the f up and wash your hands. Like here. Oh, I know. I know. You don't see anybody arguing. You don't see, I mean, it, not that it isn't happening, but no. we haven't seen anybody making a no. scene. Back right. home, people it's, love making a scene. It's constant, it's constant. Two days ago in Santa Monica, some guy got stabbed because he was security guard and he asked the guy to put his uh, mask on. So uh, going into the It's I'm like, so, it just, it's nuts. I'm you so know? tired of that concert, it's just gross. You know? Um, well, I'm glad so, the I'm glad the hospital was nice though. It sounds like you guys were well taken care of though. You know. I, what do you think? Yeah, it, I don't think it was bad. And just for comparison, you know, because Coco hasn't like really been in the hospital. Yeah. The hospital room was good. I mean, it wasn't. I wouldn't call it small. You considered it small, but I've yeah. been in surgeries and hospitals. Yeah. I, it wasn't small, and in, in my comparison, it's normal. It's normal. Yeah, well, like you said, I never really right um been in a hospital very much actually yeah i'll tell you what's been really interesting about the first week with a newborn baby is that uh the time is like flying like because we're in that zombie mode of like uh up uh feed poop yeah uh, next, uh, next day to, yeah i mean the i feel like for me nights are the longest it's gotta be well, cause yeah, you, you, just, used, you because, used to sleep so soundly oh. and much longer than me and like, now you're not getting that. So it's got yeah. to be So it's but like, get up like the night. waking myself up every, you know, Check. every 30 minutes hour. Sometimes I'm like, oh, what time is it now? And oh my God, it's yeah. only been 45 minutes. Right. Yeah. I mean, so my was, nights are, are long and I, I don't like nighttime actually. I am always like, 
just waiting for it to be five o'clock so that Jason's up and then uh, he'll take Dell and then I can finally just get up and shower. Relax. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah how long is he not my favorite? Night? How long is he sleeping at night? Two or three hours at a time, or not just even? A- no, um, it's like. He, he just moves around a lot and then he wakes yeah. himself up. And so I can't really say that he sleeps for maybe, maybe an hour. I don't know. Yeah. And then he'll like move around and then I'm trying to like calm him and, you know, try to like uh, uh, give him his passy so that he relaxes. If he doesn't like the pacifier, then like I'll latch him again. And then he'll uh-huh. eat, and then uh, he'll like fall asleep. But then as soon as I put him down again, like he gets up and he's just like <laughs> moving if, around. If they're laying within three feet of each other, yeah. he'll stay asleep. He knows um, when she gets up. Isn't that funny? Moves, and then he's done. Yeah, Whatever yeah he knows, he knows his done. mom has left him. He's, she's gone into right. the other room. And so even in the morning, we have to do a really quick pass off of when he's calm. And then I yeah. get him right in the baby Bjorn and I, yeah. no stopping. Cause it's like, you know, yeah. he'll sleep in the Bjorn. And yeah. you know, like even today, today was our longest. Today we went, I did five miles with him. And that was probably oh my like, um, it's probably like an, an hour, hour, 40 minutes or so. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very slow I- miles, but, um, uh, but yeah, once he's there and he's cradled and he's warm, and he know, feels the, he feels the heartbeat, you know, he feels the heartbeat exactly, and he yeah. feels right the breathing, the heartbeat, and the voice yeah. that yeah. he knows, uh, he'll be very calm. But you know, and even when we tried to go to lunch, you know, today uh-huh. on the whole walk over there in the Bjorn, great, he's calm. We order yeah. the food, I stop moving, and he starts getting fussy. So. Yeah. You know, he's very particular so far on, on you know, what is uh, keeping him calm. And so he's getting very broken sleep too. But, yeah. you know, if we if we just stop with the moving around and the change of, I think he'll be more consistent, you know? Yeah. But yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a challenge, you know, every day is a new challenge, that's for sure. The plane's gonna be fun. Oh, man. Well, well I think I'm I don't gonna think... wait to like feed him as, like right when like the, the plane's taking off. I don't think the plane's gonna be as much of an issue as it could be because we're gonna be moving and shuffling. Uh-huh. And he'll be up and then he'll feed. He'll be tired. And, like he'll 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 feed on command going when that plane takes off because yeah that's what he's doing right now. He's not yeah. in like the first day or two she had to wake him up to eat. To eat. Well, that's not happening anymore. Well, yeah, because yeah. the doctor is like, oh, they got to eat every two to three hours. So I yeah. would have to, you know, wake him up. And it was a struggle yeah. because he's like knocked out. Right. And when we would hit, like, when we'd hit like the four hour mark, she'd get anxiety and like wake him up, you know? Yeah. 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 And so it was just so hard getting him up so that he could sleep. And that's another thing that was stressing me out. I'm like, is he eating enough? He's, you know, it's hard to get him up. And then he wouldn't yeah. want to latch. Oh, in the beginning, latching was, yeah. was, it was taking up to like 45 minutes for him to like finally just, just yeah. latch. Yeah. Um, that was, that was really frustrating yeah. and tiring. But, but now it, it happens. Now he's got it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He's pretty. He's pretty consistent. And then uh, Coco also mentioned. So we saw the pediatrician. Um, uh huh. And you want to talk about that visit? Baby's doing very well. He barely lost any weight, any of his weight. Um, I read somewhere that baby, cool. babies usually lose like ten percent of their birth weight. Um, yeah. He he lost. Tiny. He lost like three ounces off, yes. off of the seven. That's pounds. great. Yeah. 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 He's doing well. I mean, it's yeah. just like, you know, he's a big, he's a big boy, you know? So it's like, he's not having the concerns that a lot of newborn babies have. He was 41 weeks. He was born big. Uh-huh. He's tall. 
you know, like yeah. he's not having any issues other than just being a newborn. Everything that's yeah. supposed to happen is happening. For example, his poop started as, you know, when, when he was first pooping, it was black yeah. and it turned like a yeah. gnarly green, which is still like the <laughs> On the dark side, right? And now it's like yellow, right. and you know, yeah. he's, he's yeah. eating. Um, he's not having any trouble eating. He's getting plenty of yeah. food. Um, height and weight is great. Um, here's was funny when we walked into the pediatrician's office. She's a a Mickey Mouse nut. Yeah. And, oh my god. Uh, in the well, nicest way, fanatic. You know, not not crazy. Yeah. Like, but. Um, yeah. Walked in and her whole everything. Office, her stethoscope is has a is a Ooh, custom made Mickey one. Her measuring tape is a custom made her Mickey. Scrubs were Mickey. I didn't oh want to like God. film her whole office because we needed to have our. Uh, I did take pictures. You took some, which is great. So yeah, yeah we'll show some of that. But um, oh my God. I mean, yeah. So she's thought, really into oh Mickey. God, this is hilarious. And Sorcerer Mickey. And I'm a big oh Disney person, so exactly. I was I was like, wow, this is amazing. The first thing I said was, wow, like Jason's, Jason's That's a perfect office. place to start you off. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I mean, a nice office too, like surprisingly. Most pediatricians and offices aren't like, themed at all. So no, that, I was like kind of surprised. Pediatricians have their own, oh, they, they must have their own office, or do they share? There was another name on the door, but that was her. Like you could tell yeah. that was her office. Oh, so, for sure. um, and she's That's great. She's such a, she's such a character. Like the, uh -huh. like my, the pediatrician is, um, her vibe is really, yeah, like, she's a little, outgoing. she's a, she's a little loud. She's a little more boisterous, but, but wonderful. Right. And yeah. you know, really on top of it and really has a great manner, you know, with Dell. Um, uh -huh. and we didn't even choose her. I mean, she just was who the hospital team. assigned. You know, uh -huh. and, you but she's great, like mm -hmm. like wonderful. Oh, and then, <laughs> you know, I mean, with the transition, now we got to go home and then, uh, you yeah. know, get in with the pediatrician who we spoke to, you know, before, before we, we left. Or actually, we uh -huh. spoke to her from here, didn't we? No, no, we spoke to her from. I home. think you did reach out to her uh, when we while we were here. At yeah, yeah. I don't remember what for, but oh, well, to, to, ask her to tell about... her that, to tell her that we left. No, and also to ask her about the formula, what baby oh, formula she right. recommended. Right. Yeah, as a backup, just in case there was any yeah, issue. Yeah. Actually, we bought formula yeah. that was, you know, non-dairy, not Nestle, who's a devil yeah. you know, on their whole baby formula scandal. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, so we asked her opinion and we let her know that we had left the country, but we're coming back. Um, yeah. So right, so now we'll, we'll we'll get in with a new pediatrician uh, when we get home because she hasn't met Dell yet. So yeah, we uh, now has she was she recommended by somebody? Yeah, our, yes. our old OB, the my second, last OB, the second OB. So she's located uh -huh. in uh, Santa Monica, which is you know close to. Our oh, home. good, good. So yeah. Right. And we One. interviewed her, or we had that interview call. Yeah, we talked to her there. for some time, and. She, we're on uh -huh. the same page about vaccines and not, you know, over medicating him and things like that. So uh -huh. it, was, it was a good vibe. I, I, I had a lot of questions for her and I, I, I was yeah. happy. So yes, you Coco did. just kind of went with the flow. She didn't have a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm like, okay, all right, well, hold on. We're going to get to my list now. All right, here's the questions, doctor. Okay. <laughs> all of the questions like he he's 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 the person that you know is it's, on top of everything for me I love, everything is new i don't know what to ask i yeah. don't know yeah yeah but you but again you're doing fantastic like the things that come naturally are coming naturally the things that you yeah. aren't sure of we ask you know google well we yeah. ask we no. ask we ask professionals but you ask you ask professionals first yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I asked Google before I asked professionals. Well, we don't act on Google first. We'll put it that way. That's but, it. Cut, cut off for Google. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I, I did, going I to did say I was going to throw a phone uh -oh. in the room. So at one point, uh, for sure. What other questions? Oh, we do have one other. We, we have a couple other things, but, but do you have another yeah. question, Mom? I have, I have questions, but I have some questions about just Costa Rica in general. Go ahead. Just curious, how many volcanoes are there down there? I know there's the one. Is there, there more than one? Several. There's quite yeah. a few. Are there really? 
Yeah. Okay, there are several, but uh, the Arnal the Ar Arnal Ho uh, yep. Hotel. Well, that's the one that's by Loch Lacuna, right? There ones. Uh huh. That's, yeah. Now is that is that one dormant? At the moment, I mean, it's always smoking. Well, wait, no, it's not dormant. Really? It's wait. It's, well, then it's active. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. It is dormant. It's not extinct. It is. It is. It's dormant. Okay. It, it's not active at the moment, but it's always got steam coming out. And the last yeah. time it erupted, I think, was like 1968, and that was really significant. Okay. I thought it was like 2010. Maybe I'm getting mixed up, or when maybe the 1968 one was like when it caused a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah. But when it erupted, like the, the lava went to the other side of right. the uh, volcano, not to like the side where we're. Oh yeah, don't, don't worry, mom. When you come stay at the house that's built right next to the volcano, we'll give you. Yeah, we'll, thanks. We'll get you. We'll get you on the fastest bicycle out of there. I promise. <laughs> I, I'm more worried about the crocodiles and alligators. Let me tell you. We'll put you and the we'll, little we'll, and the little baby poisonous snakes that I've seen down there. We'll zip. Oh we'll zip line God. you. We'll zip line you right out. No worries. Don't be. Don't be worried. I'll be riding out on the cow. Hey, you spend a lot of time in uh, Hawaii, and Hawaii is all volcanic too. So you can't be that concerned. No, that's, no, that's true. That's true. I saw a lot of stuff. No, I was just curious. Hawaii, no, there's nowhere to run. No. <laughs> There it's isn't. only it's only the only reason there's land in Hawaii is because the volcano came out of the ocean. They don't want it. It's all volcano. So it's yeah, like, when the volcano erupt, they sit there and they actually set up stands selling food and everything else as they're watching the lava come down. It's you know, it's, it's like amazing. Unreal. I mean, how many times will you get to see that in your life? It's 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 amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you know it's interesting. Gal, uh, you know that we had our our first photo shoot. All right, so. We all, everybody has their own cameras now, right? Of course. Yeah. Um, so every day is a photo shoot, but we had a professional yeah. photo shoot because oh, Dell yeah? needed his first passport photo to get home. Oh, okay. And yeah. so we said, well, why don't we take pictures for Christmas and stuff too? Well, that's a and good so, idea. So yes, our son has already had his first photo shoot. And, I mean, uh, he oh had God. his first photo shoot the day, the next day after oh, he was well, born. Remember? Oh, like I think yes. But those don't count. That's because technically how true. How horrible! Like a photographer that uh, that works at the hospital is like there to photograph, you know, mom, baby, and you know the family. Uh -huh. Like the day after, you know, you have surgery. Like I, you're just not, you're not feeling it. Hell no, <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's a really nice feature that they threw in. It we is haven't, nice. We haven't yeah. seen the pictures yet, and you're right. I didn't. But I don't know if I want to post any. I those. didn't call that <laughs> a photo shoot because you, we did it in the room. Like Coco yeah. didn't leave the yeah. bed, so no. um, I think they'll be great. But yeah, this yeah. photo shoot that I'm referring to was at a, a location with cute little backdrops and things like that. Oh, so. Honey. Um, yeah, so even though That's there's nice. a million things going on, we are busy, right? You know, I mean, we've been to we've been to downtown to be to the civil registry, we've been, uh, you know, all over here, you know, eating. We walked to go get, you know, new diapers and powder That's that we're running out of, and, yeah. and a photo shoot, and back to the hospital to see the pediatrician. And so, so yeah, there's been. There's um, been and like walking and just all over town every single day. There's yeah, there's there's so much going on. We're, we're still very active. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Now the other thing too is now there's like there's there's San Jose, but then it's got all other different names behind it. What is what is that? Is that like a district, or is that like Irvine and there was like Woodbridge and Northwood? Exactly. I mean, how so does so if you think about like uh, Los Angeles. Right. Uh -huh. Los Angeles has Hollywood. Hollywood isn't technically a city. Hollywood is still Los Angeles. Yeah. But for marketing and for, you know, dividing up the areas, it's considered yeah. someplace different. Beverly yeah. Hills. West uh, Hollywood. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Westwood. West, uh, West Hollywood actually is a city. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it gets confusing. North Hollywood is not. Yeah. West Hollywood is. Um, wow. Pacific Palisades is not a real city. Um, yeah. It's still Los Angeles. So there's a lot of places here that are like that. The outskirts are uh -huh. still in San Jose, but we're in the uh -huh. suburb of Escazú. 
And don't okay. ask me to be able to send a piece of mail here because I don't understand how to. By write. the way, Kelly, have you gotten her postcard oh, yet? Did you? Yeah. Did you get what we sent no. you? No. Uh, no. We That's because you didn't send it. We sent. Yeah, we did. We sent it like a Halloween. Yeah, that I don't understand the mail, but I mean, we sent no, it. No, not by. yet. I don't understand the length of the mail. I should say that. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, it's it's very similar oh. now. It's five day. It's five days to go local here now. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. It's so thanks weird how mail is not a food. Uh -huh. I said thanks to you know who and his appointment, you know, to the post office. Oh. Biden could change that, but you know, it's also not a high priority as long as they're not cheating the mail in balance, you know, but um, yes, but here it's really interesting to me how mail isn't a thing. There aren't mailboxes. They don't come to your house. There's only oh, really? postal centers and you go there and that's the only place you get the stamps and and literally we had to wait in line to hand them the mail to take it. Oh my not oh my even, god hand them the not even a box and so it's like i was so like, Whoa. Kind of like so then it's kind of like general delivery then for people if they think maybe they're getting something in the mail they go to the, the post office and see if they have anything for them that's a great question yeah. i didn't think about that if there's no I if mean, there's no mailboxes and stuff and no I did delivery see, when, when when i was in there the second the last time i did see boxes mailboxes yeah, you can rent a box, but I'm sure everybody doesn't that works, do that. And I, but, you know, I'm guessing a lot of people don't get mail. Like they, like mail isn't a thing. Wow, isn't that Amer something? America's getting away from mail slowly. Yeah, but, um, I told Jason that should be one of his business ideas. We, yeah, we have a lot of business ideas. <laughs> um, I don't know That's if there's. When I come down there, I can get on a burrow and I can deliver the mail. You know? Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 you can. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, you know what was kind of cool too is, um, you know, so I've been here a lot more than Coco. And so uh -huh. I've made friends, you know, here and there over time. But uh, Coco met a uh, young oh, yeah. couple and, uh -huh. um, and we have become friends with them and they live right down the street and they've got young kids as well. A four year old so, and a two year old, I believe. Yeah. So uh -huh. that, Billy is just the nicest person ever. Um, it's funny oh how people too. Um, uh, I was walking out of the hotel to go get a tea, a matcha tea, uh -huh. as this family, or as three girls were walking by. It was a mom and then two younger, you know. Uh, and this girls. is when she was still pregnant. When I was uh -huh. still And um, Lily literally, like, glanced over and she saw that I was pregnant and like everybody else, everybody's like, oh God, you know, like you're a little stomach, you look so cute. Um, <laughs> she, she, she just glanced at it and she did say something, but not directly to me. She said it to uh -huh. like, her mom and her friend. Um, yeah. And I just smile. I'm just like, oh, uh -huh. no. yeah. I, I just acknowledge it. Yeah. And, um, we were, we were, I was walking behind them. I didn't want to walk too close because of COVID and everything. And we were yeah. walking in the same direction. And then finally, like, I think she noticed that we were walking the same direction. And she was like, she turns around and she was like, oh my God, your belly, it's so beautiful, you know? And we just stopped and we started chatting. Yeah. 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 Like, we were going to go get some coffee. You want to come? And I was like, oh, I was actually on my way to do the same. And she was like, oh, where were you going? And I was like, I was going to go to Bolali. And she's like, oh, so are we. Like, let's go together. Let's sit down. And we oh my God. sat there for like 30, 40 minutes. And we were just chatting oh. it up. And her mom is the nicest person ever. Her mom was like, oh, my God, give me your number. If you need anything, let me know. You know her daughter lives down the street, you know. If you need anything, let her know. You guys should exchange numbers. Yeah. So yeah, it, it was really, really nice. It felt awesome sitting down with That's the girls nice. and just chit chatting and you know having coffee and everything. Um, yeah, and that's how I met Lily. Yeah, and then, and then she, they invited us over, and so we, uh, you know, just had like a little, uh, you know, not dinner, but just you know, like a chat, and you know. Uh -huh. it, 
snacks and stuff and yeah. yeah her 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 dude is great so we had a lot yeah. in common as well so it's you know again it doesn't always work you know that way but uh, again it's just it's been such a great experience i mean just yeah. i i think that um by the time we do our next episode like this we'll probably be home so uh -huh. um you know like uh, i i we'll, we'll talk do a goodbye costa rica one okay great there you wow, go. Look, look who wants more. Yeah, the person who didn't want to do them. Do you hear that? Look at look at look at look at who I'll wants. Probably to, change my mind. Look, look at who <laughs> wants bonus material. You know, it's like no wonder Dell, you know, was in a photo shoot. He got it from his mother. You know. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> the, queen, the queen of Instagram and Snapchat, right here. You got it. Right. Uh, we're almost out of time, Mom. You got you got one more question for the road, or any other thoughts? Yeah. I'm I was going to ask you too. Uh, I don't have I don't have the name right, so I know you'll be able to correct me. Where what is that park that's down there? There's a national park, or something that's called Clouds or something, something in the clouds. Uh, uh, that one? Isn't it near? And it's near the what Arinel volcano. Yes. Have yeah, you uh, have you been to that park yet? That national no, park. No, Monteverde uh -huh. is uh, is again close. By the way, the crow flies. But by the way, sure. the road roads go it's it's a couple yeah. hours um yeah and it's called um oh for god's sake um it's because i haven't i know i i saw it and i can't remember all i know it was something about in the clouds or something like that yeah, i can't remember we'll, what it was we'll, we'll, we'll put it in the ticker uh when i when i mm -hmm. fact check that um but yeah it's amazing and interestingly mm -hmm. enough when i was talking to carl who is lily's uh husband who we were uh -huh. a couple we were just talking about they were talking about, there's a guy down here named Stephen Brooks who does these um, food farms and these echo communities that I fell in love with years ago. And he yeah. has one there as well. So oh I, need, I need to look into that. But yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's it's like city in the clouds or like not like, yeah, like I, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, they were we'll, going like, there was like kayaking and hiking hiking and horseback riding all for you had all kinds of things it's where you know? it's also where uh in in my uh opinion the strongest uh strong, the the best zip line i've ever been on in the world is here oh, really in Fort uh -huh. that company has a second one in monteverde and i have not been uh -huh. on that one yet so um it's got to be a special place too for them to have gone yeah. to uh effort <clears throat> to put in a second one for sure yeah yeah yeah. Interesting. Yeah, lot lots to do, lots to see down there. Absolutely. Absolutely. You so, know? Um, know? it'll be nice, yeah, when we uh eventually get settled down here because then it'll be it'll be great, you know, for uh for you guys to come down and spend some time and, and don't and stop stop with the crocodiles and the, like it's not it's it, that's like saying, you know, it's it's like saying when you drive to Los Angeles, you know, like that you're gonna get shot. It's like no, like it's it's like think, it's, are it's, there crocodiles and alligators oh yeah no they're all over there i don't know about la fortuna really they're, they're around there we crossed that bridge a couple of times where they're very yeah, known. And, and, and there's they, so many there's so many rivers down there though yes we saw the man that ate yeah. them hot dogs yeah he did oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he drops a hot dog on a string all the way down to get the crocodiles to jump out of the water oh, but you're on nothing you're on, a, you're on a bridge it's like 200 feet you know, you're way I, I sat on one once and i'll never do it again Actually, well that's 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 on you <laughs> remember was it lily there's a video of like a jaguar or like some sort of wild cat oh yeah there was a jaguar oh, yeah. on somebody's really I, well, yeah there's yeah. a lot i mean when we were in oh, wow in Radura which is like the by the ocean by the ocean yeah that, uh -huh. was that we went to los sueños was, uh -huh. yeah it was like just walking around i mean there. every everything's here. a lot of wildlife I'm just saying like you know? you're not gonna like unless you're gonna go on walks by yourself at 11 o'clock at night in the dark you're not gonna run into a jaguar so. no no i just want to see the monkeys <laughs> well, i saw the butterfly down there now i want to see the monkeys yeah Be careful that can yeah that that yeah. Some of them can be mean. Uh, they're around. They're around. Yeah. They're all over. And I saw, I saw two two cans down there too. I remember that. That was neat. Yeah. 
Yes. Toucans. Yeah, we saw we saw some of those on the sloth tour. Uh, there's oh. some in that there's some in that video actually the sloth tour sloth cool. uh, the sloth territory, uh, which is uh -huh. just outside of Fortuna as well. And macaws. And they're not and they're not caged. We just. You, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. It's not like in America where they capture them and cage them for your treat. Right. Here, yeah. most places, um, mm -hmm. you just go with a guide and they know where to look. Where to find them, yeah. Great. It's like it's still a business, but you're not, you know, forcing the animals into something they don't want to do, which, you know. Yeah. I, when, we, when we saw them, that's what we went through the rainforest. You know, we just, yes. you have to be looking to watch and you'd see them in the trees, but it was oh, like- Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The regular person's gonna miss it all. You know, you, yeah. need, you need a good guide to you know show you what's up. That's for sure. Lots yeah. lots of good guides here in Costa Rica because it's, 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 it's natural, but it's also, it's a great business. Yeah. Yeah. Have very many Americans uh, retired down there? Do you, Tons. Do you really do Tons. This is one of the biggest yeah. American expat places in the world. Uh -huh. And I mean, people from different countries too. Carl's yeah. parents or descendants are from like Spain. Right. Uh huh. That's, yeah. They're Interesting. To see. But 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 they really welcome. Oh my Americans. god! And then the family oh. that we ran into at the civil whatever. Oh yeah, they were from Germany. They were German. They were oh, having, yeah. they just had their fourth. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. We're in the you know again. Imagine like a. Uh, not a DMV office, but, but yeah. like in the big government office, and then we're in an yeah. office, in an office, right? And so we're at one booth, and there's another booth, and Coco's sitting down, and the and the German mother's sitting down, and so we're hearing their story because it's the process yeah. is taking a very long time. Yeah. The the German mother just had their fourth baby. I don't know how many of them were born in Costa Rica, but now they're having to do the paperwork. Yeah. She gave birth by herself. Oh Lord. No hospital, no way. in a house, oh. no medication. She, oh my God. She, she studied with the nurse and the whatever that went over all of it with her, gave birth to their fourth child by herself. And I look over oh. and I'm like, I'm like, hey, did you hear that? And she's like <laughs> No shame. No shame. Coco, Coco did a great job, but holy cow, like that is. Oh my Lord. That gives me anxiety. God forbid something oh. did right, you know? Yeah. You know, family though, like, wow, yeah. the kids were adorable. They were all sitting outside. Yeah, they looked right. In the little yeah. 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 Uh. And they were like, oh no, <laughs> you know, like right. they, their Spanish sounded oh, like good. it was. You know, there's a lot. Fun. There's a lot of that here. You know, I mean, it's um, blonde, blonde hair, blue, blue eyes. Yeah. Um, just the cutest kids ever. Yeah. You. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people have a weird, you know, thought, or they don't even know what Costa Rica is about. But it's like yeah. the culture here is very pro West. It's like yeah. they they know that they make you know their their tourism dollar. The country welcomes people to come and invest here. And so they, that's why they like Americans a lot. Yeah. Um, and there's no military, so there's no fighting. There's no, there's no, no. You know, big, weird debates. I mean, well, I take that back. Government is government. So there's always yeah. something political going on. And even for us, it's like they were just changing some law on trying to even reduce taxes and, and fees on importing things to encourage more people to come. So oh my gosh. There's always something, you know, going on, but it's it's very, very pro America. Yeah. Not every country, because when we yeah. came and you had to get like insurance and then even with COVID, not every country was welcome to visit during Oh really? Yeah. Well but that makes sense because a lot of them don't have the same precautions or whatever. Correct. You know? Correct. Anyway, thank you, Mom. You were a great uh, you were a great guest on the show. We appreciate it. Again, this is uh, J Rai World. And we'll see you soon. Yeah, we'll see you Dude, soon. I can't wait. Absolutely. I know. I'm so, so excited. This has been our first week with a newborn baby. Again, baby Dell. It's J Rai and Coco. We have so many episodes on the channel. Thank you for being here. It's J Rai World Instagram, YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, participate in the conversation. We appreciate you. 
and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.